we could continue in our analysis. So for example, let's say that we have four samples, one with enzyme 1, a second sample with enzymes 1 and 2, a third sample with enzymes 1 and 3, and then a fourth sample with all three enzymes. Here, as we had mentioned, enzyme 1 cuts our plasmid DNA to make a large piece and a small piece. Now, notice that in each of the lanes, the small piece of DNA is present. That final band of DNA, which runs farthest along the gel, is present in each of these lanes. And so therefore, it is evident that enzymes 2 and 3 do not cut the small piece of DNA, but rather make cuts in the larger piece of DNA. Also note that the large band, um, which did not uh, travel far from the well in lane one is no longer present in any of the other lanes. And so therefore enzymes two and three make cuts in, um, in this larger section. Now enzyme two obviously only makes one cut because there were originally two bands of DNA and in the second lane there are now three. So enzyme two made one additional cut. It created two pieces of DNA which were unequal in size. One was larger than the other. You can see this by the distance between them. When we combine enzymes 1 and 3, you can see that it also made one additional cut because um, there, once again, are three bands uh, of DNA where originally with just enzyme 1, there were two. So enzyme 3 makes one additional cut. Its cut is closer to the middle of that original yellow piece because those two bands are closer in size. Finally, enzymes 1, 2, and 3 combined allow you to compare where did the uh, cuts which enzyme 2 and 3 make fall on the plasmid. So for example, enzyme 2 uh, made two pieces from the original yellow piece. Where is the restriction site from enzyme 3? Which of those two did it cut? You could ask the same question for uh, where is the restriction site from enzyme 2 when one considers those two sites uh, that enzyme 3 creates. And so therefore you can map a plasmid by comparing where the restriction sites are on this plasmid and this uh, results from the analysis of the DNA bands uh, once you have cut the plasmid with those restriction enzymes.